All right, here's my scoreboard animation that I created in the GT Title Designer. If you notice over here, I have extra time, which is kind of one little section. It's the yellow kind of box there, and then drops, which is all of the kind of black drop downs at the bottom. So if we turn these two off, we have the basic scoreboard, which is here. This is what I call base layer. And if you go to its transition in, you'll see, you know, it transitions in. And then it has a transition out, which kind of fades out, right? Well, while those are going on, if I turn all this back on, you'll see that there is no yellow box and there's no drop down. Those are gone during the transition. That's because these things are hidden. That's right. We have to make sure that they are hidden. See in the animation for the transition in, they're hidden there, hidden there. All of these are hidden, right? So we want to make sure on the transition end, these layers are hidden. Now let's go to the kind of what makes the animations work here as a bug are these pages. So page one is my yellow card. So if I go to page one, I'm going to turn this stuff off so you guys can see what's going on here. All right, so if I go to my yellow card, I have the yellow card here, and it has a zoom in transition for page one. My extra time still is hidden right my red card is still hidden so my player name is gonna animate in or my player number and my player name and the yellow card when I go to page two it's gonna animate out so I have the reverse now for all of these things stats still hidden the red card still hidden extra time all these things are still hidden right there's no no animation on the extra time I have it on the main layer so then when I go to page three, that's my red card. So now my red card zooms in and out, my player name zooms in and out, but my yellow card is hidden. So that's how it goes. Uh, I have my stat is on the a couple more pages down and then my extra time is like nine and 10. So let me jump over into vMix and show you how this goes. But long story short, within GT Designer, these pages, you wanna make sure things are hidden and on their animation in, make them one page, their animation out another page, and you should be good to go when you're building your own title. But let's jump over to um, this uh, demo here. Let's go ahead and throw this on so it's gonna animate in, right? There's our title. And now let's say that, you know, Martinez got a yellow card. So we're gonna put a yellow card up there. After we're done badgering him, we can hide it. Now, uh, he's gotten, you know, four goals, so we want to display his four goals. Yay, he, he got four goals. We're all excited about that. We're going to hide it. But after that fourth goal, he celebrated too much. He punched a guy in the face, and now he got ejected. He got a red card. So you can see how this all works. And since there was all that distraction on the field, they added five minutes of extra time. And now this is one kind of tricky thing. So when you go to animate this off, you got two options. Most of the time, we usually just take the bug off, you know, come up with some sort of full screen graphic or go to break. If you do that, if you animate this off, this yellow five here is not going to animate off. It's just going to kind of go poof, poof, and then the, the main layer animates off. So let's put this back on, and let's uh, bring this back on. So the only other way around that would be to physically animate this off and then take the layer down so you know small price to pay uh, for using the GT designer as your score bug but it's a uh, it's a really powerful tool and hopefully that helps you guys out